In the Fishtown part of Philadelphia, you can find a small well-known spot where different kinds of artists gather called Graffiti Pier. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's really important that um, guys on the street have a place to go to let off some steam rather than go to private property, city property, and you know do stuff there. This is a good place because nobody bothers us. You know mm. what I mean? And um, the art of graffiti itself is a, is a street vandal type of thing. Yeah. But when you got guys coming here, they're trying to perfect something, work on something, practice something versus, you know, it could be in the middle of the night masked up, I could be on your building, you know what I mean? This is a good place for the city, but uh, they're tearing it down. From, from what I understand, they're considering turning it into houses just like they are down there and building like lofts over here. But I mean, the park idea is cool. I, I'm not opposed to that, but you know, you're still taking away a nice outlet, you know? Or you're gonna have tons of people come down here um, taking pictures, checking out the vibe, seeing what kind of culture you know is put up on these walls. And uh, all in all, I'd say it's a good thing that people come down here versus leaving it alone, having it be some type of ghetto type of thing. It's not, you know. Um, yeah. Pier 18 was where the Reading Company's trains unloaded Pennsylvania coal onto ships bound for ports all over the world. It was part of the vast Port Richmond rail yard, but after the coal industry declined and the Reading Company went bankrupt, Conrail took over the pier in 1976, and less than two decades later, the pier was abandoned, becoming a canvas for graffiti artists. Um, I've heard about it probably about eight years ago when I first um, started looking to do a lot more outdoor shoots. I stumbled across it, um, walking around and saying, okay, check out this place. And um, ever since then, I've always had a love for it. Um, unfortunately, you know, when it slowed down, slowed down, you know, a lot, it drawed a lot of people away. But it's still a great place to shoot for me in terms of it's still a place, great, great place to hang out. Um, I love creating images here. So, I mean, it's, it's, I think it's, it's definitely should be a little more well known. But, you know, unfortunately, everyone feels differently. Everyone's not doing what they're supposed to do back here. So. Mm -hmm. I mean, and it looked like at one point in time before, with, you know, lock, put, put lock down, <laughs> locked down that the artists did respect each other's work. You know, now it seems like just work on top of work. Like you to come here a couple times and the artists' work had a chance to shine before the next person or they replaced it, everything else like that. And they had different areas. Now it seems to have gotten away from that, but I would love to see that come back mm -hmm. where the artists really have a chance to shine and get a chance for their work to shine and not everyone just trying to layer one thing on top of something else. Yeah, and they're not hurting anyone by right. art like creating here. like. I see taglines popping up for Instagrams, and I'm gonna follow a few because I'm like, this art is fabulous. Like, I can't even imagine how long it took them to do this. I mean, I feel comfortable shooting back here. I've always had, you know, I've never been back here and felt like, okay, oh my God, you know, something different. I'm sure that definitely there's gonna be provisions put in place to improve safety at any t any cost of time, right. which would definitely be welcome. I mean, you know, don't don't don't, feel, don't take my word for it. You know what I'm saying? If we can upgrade and improve security around here, let's do it but let's also have people and have the opportunity to truly enjoy what this place has to offer. I agree. I'm like, this place is really nice. Um, it's completely different than any other part of the city that I've seen. Um, so, I mean, to turn this into a public park, just like have someone watching over it, maybe clean up that parking lot a little, and then it'll be fine. It's big enough to hold a whole bunch of people, you know, barbecue, anything. You know? Yeah, and it, 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 like I said, there's no place like this place. You know, it, it's unique in, its, in itself, hence its name, Graffiti Pier. Like, you know, you, where you want to find a pier full of graffiti and full of art, you know, you're not going to find it. Maybe FDR with the skate park, stuff like that, but that's not a pier, that's a whole something totally different. I mean, this, this provides a different experience and, and a different opportunity for artistic creati creativity across the board. Not just for taggers and those who are creating the graffiti part, but for artists, photographers, videographers, you know, people creating content, you know, whatever the case may be. So why not allow that opportunity for creators to truly have an opportunity to create across the board, no matter what medium they're in. Right. Yeah. Graffiti Pier is a great place for many people in the community who are artists and even just regular people who want some nice scenery on their afternoon walk. There are many people in the community who also help clean and keep, keep this place safe. I recommend anyone to take a stroll down Graffiti Pier while it's still around. This is Albera Flores reporting for Photo Journal News.